Hello and welcome to Kafka tutorial at Learning Journal. In the previous session, we talked about a schema evolution problem. We learned Avro basics and created a producer and consumer that uses Avro schema. In this session, we will install and configure open source version of the Confluent platform and execute our producer and consumer. Then we will modify our schema and create a new version of prior schema. Then we will create a new producer to send some messages based on the new schema. This example will show us the schema evolution in action. We will see old producer, new producer and old consumer working together in the same system. Finally, we will create a new consumer as well. This new consumer will be able to read old and new both types of messages without any exception. So, by the end of this session, we will have a system where old and new both versions of a schema will be working with older and newer both types of producers and consumers. So, let's start. The Confluent platform is, in fact, Apache Kafka packaged together with additional components. All these elements together with Apache Kafka make it a flexible and powerful streaming platform. There are many ways you can download and install Confluent platform. I am going to use RPM packages via yum. I'll follow Confluent documentation and you can follow my screen capture. So, as per the documentation, we need to install Confluent's public key. So, let's do it. The next step is to create a repo file for yum. Now, I need to copy and paste all of this into my repo file. Good. We want to install open source version, so we execute this command. This 2.11 represents a Scala version. So, don't get confused with Confluent Platform version or Kafka version. The current Confluent Platform version is 3.1.1 and it comes with Kafka 0.10.1. Both of these versions are the latest version at the time of recording this tutorial. Once you execute the yum install command, it takes care of everything else. So, we installed Confluent Platform. Simple, isn't it? Now we go and look at the quick start guide. We have completed this download and installation step. So, we skip that part. Now, we need to start Zookeeper, Kafka Server and Schema Registry. I covered all of this in an earlier video for Apache Kafka installation and demo. We are doing similar things except starting a Schema Registry as well. So, this is the location where you will find your default configuration file for starting these services. Let's start all of three services.
माई जू कीपर इज अप नाउ ओके माई काफ का सर्वर इज ऑल्सो अप आई एम स्टार्टिंग अ सिंगल ब्रोकर but you can start multiple brokers on the same machine i have explained that part as well in an earlier video now let's start schema registry good so schema registry is also up Now we are ready to compile and execute our Avro producer and consumer. To compile our producer and consumer, we need to include Avro and Kafka Avro serializer dependencies. I have an SBT build file that contains all these dependencies. My build file and source code are available in my GitHub repository. You can find a link to the Git repository in the description. Let me compile and execute my consumer in one terminal. In the second terminal, I will execute a producer. You can see that we got the message here at the consumer. So, we learned that how can we use Avro schema in our producers and consumers. But the whole point of using Avro is to support evolving schemas. So let's change our schema. Here is the new version of my schema. Note that the schema name and type don't change. The name and type of schema are is still same as earlier. However, I change the record structure. The first change is to remove referrer field and the second change is to add three new attributes. I have made these changes in the schema. but let me warn you that you are not free to evolve your schema in a random fashion there are some rules avro specification defines some rules for compatibility you should refer to avro specification for more details about compatibility guidelines i have added a link in the description so we modified our schema we need to generate code for this new schema So let's do that. Okay, done. Now we need to create a new producer and send some messages in the new format. So here is my code for the new producer. The code is same like earlier, but this time I am creating a click record object using new schema code. Then I am setting some fields and finally sending it to Kafka broker. this producer will send a message in the new format now it's time to open three terminals i will execute a consumer in one terminal this one is an old consumer right then i will start a new producer in one terminal and see if the old consumer can read the message sent by the new producer good so it can read a message that comes with an evolved schema let me start an old producer and check if the consumer is still able to read the old messages as well good it is so we have seen that using avro and schema registry we can quickly build a system where producers and consumers can write and read messages using an evolving schema and different versions of messages can coexist in the same system i have written an example code for the new consumer as well i am not going to explain it because it is essentially same as the old consumer the only difference is that it uses source code generated from the new schema so i leave it for you to try and test yourself that's it for this session thank you for watching learning journal if you want more please subscribe and share keep learning and keep growing